I've got a full breakdown of the new Blood Elf armor set here for you, as well as two new weapons that do accompany this future Helix pack and the obligatory flashy mounts and raven skins to go through as well. Now, all of this has been found in the game files by Pedder, so hopefully you know the drill by now. We don't have a release date as of yet, but do expect it to arrive in the store within the next month or so. But that said, just like all Helix packs that have been released since the end of last year, it comes with two distinctive and visually different armor skins all wrapped into one pack. The Blood Elf armor set, as you can see here, follows that same trend. We have the red set, which is called the Oracle, and the white set, which is called the Solar. But let's have a look at the Oracle set together first, though. When I initially saw this armor design after Pedder sent it across to me, I thought of Illidan Stormrage, the betrayer from World of Warcraft, who himself was a night elf and the first ever demon hunter. Now, I could be wrong here with my interpretation, but I do think this is where a lot of artistic influences stem from, and I think it's especially so in regard to the IRAPs. And I just want to give a quick shout out to my fellow WoW players, by the way, Gnome Rogue for the win. But let's talk about the stats and you're in for a corker here and not in a good way because by equipping the set you will be picking up an increase in plus 10 light damage but you'll also pick up a speed bonus of plus 15 as well as a near 5 bonus of plus 5. So in total you're going to be picking up a plus 20 speed increase only when you equip one two-handed weapon and you're also in the vicinity of fire. Now the bonus cooldown is also 20 seconds and it will drop off after your damage which is incredibly poor in my opinion. Now on top of this diabolical stat presentation here the armor set is also unique in that it doesn't have any sort of animation, special effects or visual cues that are produced when certain criteria is met whilst in combat and it may look like a flashy armor set but there's no mythical explosions or swords falling from the sky. However, as this has been found in the game files and is not yet released, that is subject to change. But for now, this is purely a transmog based Helix store purchase, in my opinion. Now let's move on to the second Blood Elf Solar Armor set, which I do also think is another reference to Illidan Stormrage from World of Warcraft, but rather before he became a corrupted, power-hungry demon hunter. This Solar Elf design is certainly the more virtuous and saintly looking armor set of the two from an aesthetic point of view anyway, and when it does come to stats, you'll be astounded to hear that there isn't any sort of notable upgrade with the Oracle's counterpart. The only thing that changes is the light damage buff being replaced with a heavy damage one. Everything else just remains the same. Now that said, this is an inbound helix pack and you don't want the best stats behind a paywall. So even though it's not a top performer in that category, it's a solid looking armor set visually with the headpieces certainly being a standout feature and definitely worth a pickup at Redder if it ever hits circulation. And by the way, if you have found this breakdown helpful or informative, please do leave a swift like on the video. It does take a lot of effort from several good people here to get this all whipped up for you and it is the best way to show you support. So thank you very much. All right then, so let's take a look at the weapons now. Our first one is this elven spear called Alfheim's Arm. Alfheim being one of the nine realms in Norse mythology, which is home to the light elves. And I know this spear isn't exactly the same, but I am picking up Mirkwood polearm vibes from Lord of the Rings with this weapon in particular, especially with the filigree and ornamental stencil work on the blade. I think it just looks elven to me. So really great job to the design, as I say. But when it comes to stats, you're going to be picking up an increase in plus 20 critical damage when you're near fire. It also doesn't specify the range of that proc but again there is better spears out there with better stats but not all of them do look like an elven polearm. But speaking of polearms, we've got a new scythe here called the Blood Up Set Crew, and no doubt that is not the correct way to say it, but if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I'm a bit of a bandit when it comes to pronunciation, so my sincere apologies there. However, it is described as being a blade made from a single slab of fiery crystal that is elven in origin, and again, it certainly does a good job coming across as described. Stat-wise though, when we kill an ignited enemy, our next five hits will deal critical damage, and it doesn't specify how much that is so it's going to be terribly low and the only redeeming factor is a five second cooldown but in my opinion it's a solid pass on a main hand equip but certainly a half decent transmog option. Now for a mount we've picked up a fox here called the Melraki which is a Icelandic name for an arctic or white fox and as you can clearly see here from Nika's pictures they've absolutely nailed the white fox look so top marks team. Now terrible British sarcasm and jokes aside this isn't a bad looking mount at all especially 
especially if it drops in redder and it would certainly be worth a purchase in my opinion. We also have a Raven in this pack called the Logo Fulga and I couldn't find any interesting fact regarding the name but it's a half decent looking flame Raven skin for Sunin and we do have a fair share of Fire Ravens in Valhalla but I do think the detail is quite nice. But I'll tell you what also is nice and that's even more cool stuff that Ped has found in the game files that we need to go through including a new weapon pack and some incoming legacy outfits to Valhalla which I'll be talking about very soon. So if you would like to be the first to know when those videos drop make sure you do subscribe so you can find your way back easily. In fact the video may be popping up on your screen right now depending upon when you watch this video so I'm sure I'll catch you in there in a second but before I do big thanks to Peta for bringing us this new content and Nika and Ibsart for collating all of the footage and pictures for us to have a deep dive inspection as well. Top work and I'll see you in the next video in just a second. Coffee is on me.